To truly achieve the dignified conduct of an aristocrat, you must learn to remain composed and elegant even amidst harsh conditions. For example, you can see that part of the path up ahead is quite difficult to traverse. But a well-trained aristocrat would not only effortlessly proceed forward, but do so without a stain on their garment and their elegance fully intact. Hyman thinks we've left the realm of aristocrats and entered the realm of adventuring. Compared to what we've already seen, this should be a piece of cake! Uh-huh! This is where you can finally apply some of your adventuring knowledge! <laughs> you look pretty confident this time. Alright, let's get started. Remember, you must be graceful and elegant. Don't get knocked or launched into the air. That would be most unsightly. do. You've exposed your shortcomings. No need to worry. Head back to the starting point and try again. It'll be difficult at first, but the key is to remain patient. Let's try again. Remember, you must be elegant. Don't get knocked or launched into the air. No need to worry. Head back to the starting point and try again. It'll be difficult. Remember. Not bad. A lot better than I had anticipated, at least. <sighs> I almost didn't make it through! Whew. Good thing we didn't get stuck. Um, so, are we aristocrats now? <laughs> <laughs> Don't flatter yourselves. We've only just begun. This scenario was relatively simple. In the face of a real battle, one would seldom have a chance to stop and evaluate the situation. There's a leyline monolith just up ahead that will attract nearby monsters. True elegance is the ability to calmly yet swiftly make decisions in the heat of battle. My family set only the highest expectations for me, even as a child. Let's proceed, shall we?
This is the ley line monolith. Go ahead, activate it. But be careful not to get launched into the air or frozen while fighting. That would be most unsightly. You failed this time. What a shame. But not to worry. It's just training after all. Let's try again. is order. Well done. Your performance was most impressive. And you managed to remain calm even in these grueling dragon spine surroundings. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if even I could have done the same. Given such an outstanding performance, it seems there is little left for me to teach you. Like Paimon said, adventuring is our specialty! Uh, <laughs> so, that's it for our training, right? Then let's get out of Dragon Spine before Paimon turns into a popsicle! <sighs> Hold on. I was commending the Traveler's performance just now. You, on the other hand, seem to have made no progress at all. Uh, what? You mean Paimon was also part of the training? Yes, of course. You were frantically flying and dashing about throughout the entire thing. Not an elegant sight at all. Did you even listen to anything I was trying to teach you? Yeah, that's it. It's too cold here. Uh, besides, Paimon was paying attention to the Traveler. Whatever the reason, not heeding my instructions. A cause for vengeance, perhaps. Huh. Now, drink this. Huh? What is it? <gasps> Are you trying to poison Paimon? Certainly not. It's warm milk. Didn't you just say that you were freezing? Drink it and it'll help warm you up. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, are you still planning on the whole vengeance thing? If I wasn't, then why would I care about you being cold? If you turned into a Paimon Popsicle, that would ruin my plans for vengeance now, wouldn't it? So, dear friend, don't die on me out here. Ah! Paimon knew something was off! All in the name of vengeance. No need to thank me. Now then, given that your training is complete, it's time we return to Mondstadt. Our last step will be preparing a cordial gift to present to my uncle when you meet him. I already have something in mind. Let's pay Sarah a visit at Good Hunter. <laughs> 